Welcome back to another Pythonic Accountant. In today's video, we're gonna look again at the Gemini 1.5 Pro with a million uh, context window. Um, for today, I've uploaded a financial accounting uh, textbook. <laughs> this is a free textbook that I found online and I thought it'd be kind of fun to see if I loaded up into the entire context window uh, just to take a look and see what kind of things we can do with it. So um, first I had asked it to summarize the book just overall and it gave me just the key concepts in the book. Okay, interesting, fine, boring. Um, and it talks about what it emphasizes. Okay, that's great. Um, I asked it to teach me some basics in accounting and it did an okay job, but I, I wanna have a little bit more fun here. Let's see if I can get it to give me like a test question. So let's say, um, I need help. Uh, let's see, learning about journal entries. Give me a, uh, let's see, a test type question about recording a few journal entries. Let's see what it comes up with. So it'll be interesting to see if it pulls from the book itself or it comes up with its own examples. Uh, we'll see what it's able to come up with. All right, so we have some test questions here. <laughs> this will be interesting to see uh, how these go. So um, on January 1st, 2023, XYZ Company began operations with the following transactions. Issued some shares at dollar par value for $15 per share. Purchased some equipment and bought inventory on credit. Sold some merchandise and paid $2,000 in rent. And it's asking me to prepare the journal entries for those transactions. So if you want to play along, why don't you pause the video, see if you can come up with what you think the journal entries are. I'm going to do the same thing, and then I'm going to type in my answer. I don't know if it's going to have the accurate answer or not, so it'll be kind of fun to see. And uh, let's go. All right, so I took a few minutes, thought through these answers, and came up with what I thought the right answer is. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. So I think it's debit cash, 150K, credit common stock, 10K, and additional paid in capital, 140 Debit equipment, 50K, credit cash, 10K, and note payable, $40,000. Debit inventory, 20,000, and credit accounts payable, $20,000. Uh, debit cash, $12,000, credit revenues, $12,000, debit cost of goods sold, eight, and credit inventory for 8,000. And then finally, debit rent expense, 2,000, credit cash, 2,000. Should be pretty easy for an accountant. Hopefully the uh, LLM will get it right as well, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> all right, it, uh, this is pretty nice. It said, congratulations, your journal entries are all correct. That's pretty cool. And it told me what I learned. Let's, uh, let's, let's have a little fun. Let's uh, ask for it to give us one more journal entry question. And I'm going to purposefully get it wrong because I want to see if it's able to catch it and teach us something. So let's say, um, awesome, give me one more. Make it a little harder, please. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, yeah, this one looks a little more interesting. So we've got four pieces to this. They're kind of related. First is received a $15,000 cash from a customer for services to be performed over the next six months. Two is purchase equipment for twenty k, paying $5,000 in cash, signing a one-year 8% note payable for the remaining balance. And then you've got the next transaction associated with these. So you got one month of service, and then you've got one month of interest accrued prepare the journal entry. And it kind of gives you a hint here. It says, you know, recognize unearned revenue and then adjust for the portion earned, okay? <laughs> Count for the purchase of equipment with cash and no payable. Calculate and record accrued interest. So let's, let's try this again. I'm gonna come up with what I think is the right answer. Then I'm gonna tweak it to make it wrong and see if it catches it. All right, so I came up with what I think the right answer is, uh, which is I think debit 15,000 cash, credit 15,000 deferred revenues. Debit equipment, 20,000. Credit cash, 5,000. Credit notes payable, 15,000. I think those are right. Um, I messed up number three on purpose. I said, okay, I'm gonna debit uh, one sixth of the uh, $15,000 to deferred revenues to reduce it, which I think is right. And then just for fun, I'm crediting only 2,000 to revenues and crediting $500 to cash. So that'll probably be incorrect. Uh, next, we're going to do the last one. I, I uh, also messed up on purpose. So um, I think it should really just be accruing one month of interest. And so if you just kind of straight line it, it would be 
um, you know, one twelfth of the eight percent. I'm sure that's not exactly right, but uh, because we're not doing any sort of um, uh, adjustment for anything here. But I just went ahead and recorded the entire year's worth, and we'll see if it catches me. So I said debit 1600 interest expense. So it's 8% of, uh, oh, it's not even, yeah, I'm making it even worse. I'm doing 8% of the 20000 which is also wrong. And I did, uh, you know, credit 1600 interest payable. So let's see if it's able to um, not only, you know, tell me I'm wrong, but it might actually tell me why I'm wrong. And that'll be the most interesting um, use of something like this to help with accounting if it gets it right is it can help me understand where my thought process went wrong and how to think about it correctly which I think can really help with the learning process as you're trying to learn uh, new concepts and correct you know issues if you get them wrong all right so cool your journal entries for transaction 1 or 2 are correct and that's exactly as I uh, attempted However, there are some errors in your adjusting entries for three and four. Let's review them. So transaction three, you correctly identified the need to adjust the deferred revenues uh, for the portion of services performed. However, the entry should only re reflect the revenue earned, not the cash received. The cash was already recorded in transaction one. So the correct adjusting entry would be debit deferred revenue 2,500, credit revenues 2,500. That's great. So that's exactly what I thought it should be, and I adjusted it to make it wrong. It caught it and told me how I should have fixed it. Um, let's see about transaction four. You accurately recognize the need to accrue interest expense for the month of December. And so it gave me kudos for that. Yay. However, the interest calculation needs to be adjusted. It should be calculated on the outstanding principal balance, which is 15000 The annual interest rate is 8%, and so they just did a straight line. So monthly interest rate of 8% divided by 12 is 0.67. So the correct interest should be principal balance times monthly interest, 15,000 times 0.67, and it rounded to 100. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. So the adjusting entry should have been debit interest expense, 100, credit interest payable, 100. Remember, interest is always calculated in the outstanding principal balance of the debt, not the total face value. Hey, this is pretty awesome. Let's keep this going with one more, because why the heck not? I want to see if it can add like a really fun twist to the next one. Um, I'm gonna see if it can do it in the style of, mm, let's say, The Simpsons. I don't know if we'll do that because there may be like copyright issues, but let's try it. Let's see, um, okay, now I want one more set of questions around journal entries that make these more interesting and very much in the style of the TV show, The Simpsons. Let's see if it'll let me do this. Sometimes it doesn't like it if I do like a copyrighted thing because it will just, you know, for whatever reason, want to avoid those. But um, if it hasn't crashed yet, that means it probably is going to be okay doing it. So let's see how it works. <laughs> okay, holy cow, this is great. Um, so the Simpsons Journal Entry Challenge. And again, I would suggest you, if you want to pause the video and try these out yourselves, why not? Let's see if we can do these. These look like they're probably going to be pretty easy. Um, it's a beautiful day in Springfield. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and Homer Simpson is, well, being Homer. But amidst the usual chaos, some interesting financial events are taking place. Transaction 1. Mr. Burns, in a rare moment of generosity, or perhaps a devious scheme, decides to give each of his employees at the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant $100 bonus. The total bonus expense for the company is $50,000. Okay, I mean, that should be pretty straightforward. Let's just do these together. So one, um, go ahead and try to think of it yourself, uh, or pause the video, but I'm going to go ahead and do these. So let's see, one is uh, probably debit uh, bonus expense, 50 k and credit cash 50k and whoops i hit enter and so i just thought i was answering the question that's fine so second one let's go ahead and think through it while it's checking my answer second transaction is bart simpson ever the entrepreneur sells his collection of crusty the con memorabilia to millhouse for 500 originally acquired them for 200 ah so that's probably going to be uh, let's see, a debit of cash to 500 and a, got a gain. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and check the first one. Uh, your entry is correct. Okay, perfect. All right, so for number two, we're going to do debit, 
cache, 500, Reddit, uh, let's see, memor memorabilia for 200, and credit gain on sale, 300. And then let's do three. Apu, facing rising costs, decides to purchase a new squishy machine. <laughs> this is awesome. So debit, uh, let's see, equipment, 10K, credit, cash, 2K, and credit, notes payable, 8K. And let's do four. Mo, in a desperate attempt to attract customers, offers a buy one get one free deal. Oh, that's good. During the promotion, he sells 100 beers for $5 each. So does that mean, so he sells 100 beers for $5 each. Uh, is he only selling 50 beers? I'm not sure. I'm just going <laughs> to 100 beers for $5 each. Yeah, I think buy one, get one means he's going to make five times 50. So that's going to be $250. So debit, 250 cash. Uh, credit, 250 revenues, debit, uh, let's see, 200, cost of goods sold, and credit, inventory, uh, 200. Let's see if we get those right. All right, let's see how I did. Okay, so transaction two, Bart's Krusty Collection Sale. It's correct, all right. I did it right, and it even gives an explanation as to why we got that right. Let's go. Oh, interesting. It even shows the impact on the financial statements. And for Apu's squishy machine, it was also correct. Excellent. Good job, guys. Okay. And it even, uh, again, shows the impact on the Quickie Mart financial statements. That's fun. Finally, buy one, get one. It needs some adjustments. Okay, so I think I got thrown off by the description of selling the uh, number of beers that he sold because I answered it. Let's see. Well, actually, I thought I answered it that way. Debit cash, credit revenues, debit cost we could sold, so 500 and 200. Oh, you know what? I did 250. That's right. Because it was uh, originally, it was the sold 100 beers for $5 each. Okay, so I was assuming that that meant that he sold 100 beers, so I only did... 50 of actual revenues, but I think they meant that he sold. Oh, I think they have a mistake. So I'm going to call them out on it because I said if it's buy one, get one free, they either already did the math for us where it was $10 each and they only charge $5 because it was buy one, get one. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to say, um, I think you have transaction for wrong. If it was buy one, get one free, wouldn't he only have gotten $5 times 50 beers in revenues when he sold 100 beers? Or were they $10 each and he only got $5 each because, uh, of the buy one get one deal. Let's see what it says when I call it out on this. See, LLMs still not perfect, but getting pretty darn good. This is, I have to say, pretty impressed. <laughs> and I'm right, nice. So it says, you're absolutely correct. I apologize for the mistake in my previous response. I misread the transaction, the one that it came up with, and assumed Mo sold 100 beers of $5 each without considering the buy one, get one free deal. So here's the corrected journal entry, which is what I said originally. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I would say this is something that you should all play around with. I mean, this is a lot of fun. I've never had this much fun doing accounting entries, and I mean it. <laughs> Adding in the Simpsons flair is quite cool. Um, well, hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share with your friends, and we'll see you at the next one.